so we just drifted over a blue hole. I guess there's a bunch of these in the Bahamas, but if you look this way, you can see it's like a big dark blue area. Over a hundred feet deep. We, like I put my mask to see, but the visibility sucks today, so I couldn't see anything. And then like now, like we're in like a foot of water. So it's crazy, it goes from just a foot to like a hundred feet, all in one little area. It's like limestone cave. After checking out the blue hole, we were on the lookout for a nearby plane wreck that was just sticking out of two to three meters of water. Allegedly, this DC-3 plane had crashed with a load of marijuana back in 1983. The site was both eerie and intriguing. find a, a conch shell so I can play it in the evenings, but it, it won't work if it has a hole, especially in the beginning. Yeah. While island exploring, I found this nudibranch shuffling along. These bottom-dwelling, jelly-bellied, carnivorous, hermaphrodite sea slugs are truly fascinating and amusing to watch. It was a great way to end our last day in the Berry Islands. Put the first reef in the main, go a little bit upwind. We got a first reef in the Jenny too. I'm holding fast. Dear Jerry, Karen made me wait and hold the whole main sail up by myself out on the ocean. Now we're going to point past Coco Cay, all the cruise ships, and rocket north, and then head south. Well, we're rocketing along here, heading south. We just rounded Great Stirrup Key and we have about 120 miles ahead of us, but the winds are like on the beam. Uh, the seas are a little big and weird, but they're on the beam, so it's a bit comfortable. It's not, not too bad. But I think as we get past Nassau, uh, the seas should calm down quite a bit. Uh, we're really heading towards the Exumas, so we're gonna go down the tongue of the ocean and stop at this little island called Green Cay and anchor there, wait till the wind shifts south, then we can jot east straight over to the backside of the Exumas, which we hear the Exumas are just phenomenal. So like really looking forward to, to seeing some beautiful water, getting in the water, recreating. Kind of felt like we've been just on the move for the last few, well, which we have been obviously the last couple weeks. 
So I'm looking forward to like anchoring at least for a solid three or four days and just exploring, chilling, seeing the local culture and, uh, and mostly like snorkeling and dive spots. That would be rad, we could get a good, good dive in. We made it. We're in Green K. Just anchored. Morning time. The water is beautiful. So it was a a long sail, like 24 hours. I wouldn't say long, but it was very wavy and like not predictable waves. Kind of like washing machine waves. So the boat was just jostling around the whole time. Uh, which is much more fatiguing than when it's a little more calm or at least a little more predictable. But we found a semi-protected anchorage. Uh, there's still kind of a weird swell, but it is way better than, than the sailing we had. We got bacon cooking. Time to eat some bacon. Breakfast, rest, explore the island. I think we'll be here maybe two days. It felt so unreal to have this whole island to ourselves this little piece of secluded paradise that we couldn't wait to explore and stretch our legs. We're packing for a onshore exploration. We got our backpack full of camera gear. I'm excited. Exploration day. So in the morning, we're gonna explore land, and then we're gonna come back to the boat. Afternoon, we'll explore water. Let's go check it out. G tire, but it's a little Dykes tire, complete with a phone number. What? <laughs> so weird. And off of some toy. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hi. What did we just see? A goat. A what? A goat. I think. I think it was a goat. It like darted across. I was looking at, I think I found the, the pond that's supposed to be here, and all of a sudden, I was like, dun, 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 dun. I was like, what the it fuck is that? It scared the shit out of us. And I was like, oh. like and Darren's like, it's a goat. Hanging out down in there. Uh, he, he went this way. Hi. It's walking away. the pond. That was my mission today. Makes sense why there's a lot of life on this island, like goats so far. Ton of birds. What do you see, Panda? Ducks. 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 We have spotted the goat. Let's go island.
Green K was a spectacular and unexpected stop, full of life and beauty. And after a few land and sea explorations, goat and dolphin encounters, we decided to move on from this rolly anchorage and little slice of paradise to the Exumas. Big strong man. <laughs> Am I allowed to do more now? Yep, rocket north, head south. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fun. Alone on a deserted island. Be prepared. 